Welcome, this is Counting the Cost Ministries. Let's dig deeper. Today, we're going to be going over what is the Bible. This is just the basics to understand uh, the Bible if you are a new Christian, if you are just curious, whatever the case may be. So the Bible is one long story or one long history account with God's dealings with man. So it's split up into two different sections. The first section is called the Old Testament or the Old Covenant. This covenant it goes with Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and Jacob's children and their descendants, which is called the nation of Israel. The New Testament or the New Covenant is God's covenant with mankind through his son, Jesus Christ. From the Old and the New Covenants, the Bible is divided up into books. Some people call it chapters, but they're books nonetheless. They're books uh, in and of themselves. Through the books, those books are divided up into chapters and verses. The chapters and verses are not in the original Bible, but are done for navigational purposes. It's easy to find. So if you, you know, want to find a certain verse or a certain sentence, it's really hard to do so in a regular book like we have now. So dividing it up like this, it's easier to find. So if you want to find, let's say, Genesis chapter 1 verse 20, you can go to the book of Genesis, go to the chapter, and then go down and find the verse. Now, let's get a little bit more specific on what the books of the Bible are about. So there are different types of writing in the Bible. There's history, poetry, wisdom, prophecies, and epistles, which are letters. So you have to understand this to really how to get the information from the different books. So the first five books, books one through five, are called the law or the in Hebrew Torah. These five books include history and the law of the nation of Israel, which was given by God to Moses. Now, books 6 through 16, these are the historical count of the nation of Israel and God's dealing with them. Books 17 through 22 are called the books of writing. This includes poetry, wisdom, and narratives. Books 23 through 27 are called the major prophets. They're called major because they have, they're longer. They're pretty long books. But these include prophecies that have been fulfilled in the time of Israel. Uh, some were fulfilled when Christ came to earth. And it, some are yet to be fulfilled and they will be filled in the last days or in the end times. Books 28 through 39 are the books of the minor prophets. These books are called minor prophets because their books are a lot shorter. So in the Old Testament, there are 39 books. Altogether, the books of the Bible are 66. So in the New Testament, there is 27. In the New Testament, books 1 through 4 are called the Gospels or the Good News. These include the life teachings, death, resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. In book five is called Acts. They are the Acts of the Apostles or the followers of Jesus within the first century. Books six through 26 are called the Epistles. These are letters from followers of Christ to certain people or, either, or even whole congregations or churches. Book number 27 is called Revelations. Revelation is prophecies yet to be fulfilled until the end times or the last days. That is a breakdown of quickly what the Bible is and what it consists of. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. Comment down below and let me know what you want to see next. See you in my next video.